Right. Uh, so let me just unmute myself. You uh, you obviously know the uh, house rules by now. By a show of hands, uh, you indicate to me to who do you want to pose your question, um, and then you unmute yourself, and then you can ask your question. Second, let me just... Uh, Okay, so uh, just so you know, we have done the super sport interviews already, so uh, that's out, out of the way. Um, so we can start straight away. And if the first person can indicate uh, to me who he or she wants to uh, pose a question. Oh, yes. No hands. Okay, I'll I'll get I'll kick things off. Uh, Coach Tick, yeah, you've been uh, you and the side have been here uh, for a week now um, in the sect, uh, um, your training base in Brisbane. Uh, can you just give us uh, your thoughts of how the week went so far? Yeah, Ryan, so far so good. You know, it's been a great great week for us. More especially if you look at uh, the goal of the week for us, what we wanted to achieve. You know, uh, which is we call it the booster week. The main focus was to make sure that we get our conditioning, uh, we improve on our conditioning, you know, because of we know what's the challenge that's lying ahead of us in the next four weeks. Uh, we know Australia, the very good side playing at home. And uh, we know the challenge that we're going to be facing where it's going to be more ball in play, you know, uh, they're very good at keeping the ball. So our biggest challenge will be you know, to, to be able to keep up with them, you know, when it comes to polling, polling play time. So that's one of the main focus points to make sure that we work on our fitness and also just to keep on improving on the things that we want to achieve as a team, you know. So once again, so far, it's been a great week and also having some couple of youngsters also uh, getting to have a, a more experience on the training field on how we do things as spring box. Uh, a guy like Grant Williams has been just joined us uh, when we came over to Australia. And uh, if you look at a guy like Johan Probler, who's been with us now for a couple of weeks, which is, I think, that is a great opportunity for them to, 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 to get an experience and learn from the senior players around them. So, so far, it's been a great week for us. And also to acclimatize, you know, it's, uh, we're in a place where in Ireland, where it's very humid here, you know, the conditions, it's really challenging to our players, but once again, it's, it's, it's something that we are happy, you know, that we get a chance to be able to to experience it before we even go to the test week. You know, it feels like we are in Devon when it comes to the humidity. But yeah, we are enjoying it. And the guys, the squad, the energy levels are up and high. And yeah, we're just excited and looking forward to hopefully next week before we play against Australia. Good stuff, thank you, Coach. Um, Percy, I want to acknowledge your hand. Um, and am I correct in my uh, assumption that you want to pose an, a question in Afrikaans? If that is the case, then um, I would like to ask you just to exercise a little patience. Um, I will uh, give you an opportunity, but um, later on. Right, uh, let's move down the line of hands and we say um, hi to Liam. Uh, hi, hi, folks. A, a question for each of you, but each of you one, one at a time. First, Coach Stick, first to go to you. And um, the during the line series when you made these um, media appearances, there was a lot of um, a lot of friction, a lot of confrontational questions put your way about, say, some of the stuff the lines might have been saying about about the spring box and stuff like that. Are you hoping that that's all now past tense and that the the atmosphere surrounding the rugby championship in in, in Australia will be very different and that the 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 style of play the spring box have that that will be just seen as the style of play you have and it won't be open open for criticism by say All Blacks commentators or Wallabies commentators. You'll be just allowed to get on and do your own. Thing. Yeah, Liam, you know what? Uh, we're not going to lose uh, the focus on what we want to achieve as a team. You know, uh, we know our strengths, we know our DNA, you know, we know what works for us. So we're not going to try to listen too much to a lot of voices out there, you know. Uh, as long as we keep on winning as a team, as long as we keep on getting better in the things that we want to achieve as a team, you know. And once again, something that we need to make peace with is that. We are the number one team in the world currently. We are the world champions currently. So people will always talk about us, you know. So even if it's positive or negative, it, un unfortunately, it's the nature of the position where we are. 
Uh, there's also, I like to go back to the says that I believe in uh, a dog doesn't bark at the at the car that's standing still. You just pee, pee on it, you know. So a dog only barks on the car that is moving. So people will always talk about you when you start doing the right things, you know, when you start achieving stuff in life. When the Springboks probably in the past weren't really winning games, you know, people didn't really pay that much atten attention into what we do and how we play. People didn't care at that time, you know, but now we are winning. So we have to expect that people will always talk about you. So it's something that we've made peace with it. And yeah, it doesn't bother us, but yeah, it is what it is. Thank you, Coach Stick. Just switching to Demi in there. You're, you're enjoying a great run on the team there at the moment. Can, can you just talk to me a little bit about how you feel you are going there? And has there been a change in the way the coaches have looked at what you bring to the squad rather than being a utility player who might get a look in? You know, are, are a utility player who is very much getting a look in and is doing very well in the team. Yeah, uh, I'm really fortunate um, to be able to, you know, be in the match 23. Um, there's a lot of quality players like France Day and CC. Um, was all missing out um, and you know um, obviously for me you know it's an opportunity every week uh, to go and use the opportunity and make the best out of it um, but yeah um, if, really, if you do make the squad of 23 if I do make the squad of 23 um, but yeah I've been really enjoying it <laughs> and um, yeah as I said um, the, the team has been performing very well so you know it's been enhancing my chance to you know get into the team and you know almost to you know, continue my run, but um, yeah, uh, we'll be happy with where the team is going and, you know, the, the the trust and the, you know, what the coaches have been putting into me. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying that and, you know, I'm looking forward to the next four, four weeks. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you, Liam. Thank you, Damien. Right, uh, we say um, hello to Motsudisi. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Rayan, and to you, Damien, as well as to you, Coach Stick. Just want to open my nose quickly to you, coach. I wanted to ask you the familiarity in the conditions. Do you think it gives you the edge or is it almost parity amongst the four teams, particularly as you go into your match against Australia and New Zealand? Does it give you that edge the way you had arrived early in Japan? Is it those kinds of conditions? And to you, Damien, how much work and effort does it actually take to become a powerhouse utility player that the coaches are tr uh, uh, seemingly trying to drill you into? How much work have you had to put in, in in knowing all the positions, knowing all the work that the positions require? How much effort does that take? Thank you. Yeah, Mot, I think uh, you're asking if it's giving us an edge. I wouldn't say that because of, remember, we're playing in Australia and Australia has been here for the past couple of of I don't know months you know so they are used to their conditions you know so for us I think being here early and getting an extra week where we can work on our fitness levels uh, it, it also uh, gives us an opportunity at least to be closer to the level where they are you know as a team because of they are used to these conditions and then there are a couple of guys one thing about us currently there are a couple of guys uh, from our team that come from Devon the weather conditions here more it's like you in Devon you know uh, very humid, the ball gets wet, you know. I think for us to get an extra week to be able to acclimatize in the conditions, I think it's something that will help us at least to get close to where Australia are. We know what the challenge that lies ahead of us. They're going to try to keep the ball in play as long as possible. And I think our guys are also now trying to make sure that everything that we're, all the boxes that we're going to take, you know, we make sure that we also get used to the conditions and also make sure that we don't get surprised with when, it, when it comes to game day next week, you know. But yeah, we've been enjoying it. It's been very nice, and yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, so you, you asked about uh, New Zealand against Australia tomorrow. I think uh, everyone knows what to expect when it comes to the two teams. They are very, very, very high expensive. Uh, they call it entertaining game, entertaining rugby. So I don't think there's going to be much difference to are they going to play tomorrow, you know, because of it's in their DNA, you know, so uh, I don't think it's going to change much on how we want to play the game. You know, we've got our strengths also, you know, we've got our DNA also, we've got the things that we do well, you know, and as a team, we just need to make sure that we keep on improving on what we want to achieve and how we want to play the game, you know, so yeah, uh, it's, it's always nice to watch the two teams playing against each other. Uh, but once again, I don't think it's going to change that much when it comes to our mindset coming to next week, you know, we've got to have 
uh, a good plan in place and, and the biggest thing for us will, will be able to, to, to execute that plan. Yes, okay. All right, we move on uh, to uh, Ken Bolin. Hi, morning, Ryan. Hi, Coach and Damien. Um, I, I just had a question for both of you today. Just in terms of, um, you mentioned earlier about um, adaptation. So just in terms of adapting um, from the different playing styles um, and, and obviously the movement patterns from Argentina, or Argentina to Australia, just in terms of your mindset um, for, for both of you, um, is that a major? Is, is that a major impact um, at the moment? Yeah, of course, uh, it's a uh, different challenge. Like I've mentioned earlier on, but, uh, is that we know that uh, when it comes to playing against Australia and New Zealand, they are the teams that enjoy to keep the ball in hand. Uh, they are the team that will stretch you when it comes to your fitness levels. They will challenge you. And they've got very skillful players. They've got a lot of extract around their squads. So it's going to be a different challenge, yes. Uh, and I think that is why we are here as coaches, you know, to make sure that we we assist our players in, 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 with, with those challenges that they're going to be facing. And I have to be honest and say, so far this week, we've been really, really working very hard when it comes to uh, making sure that we, we're achieving the goal to get closer to where we want to be against the uh, Australia next week, uh, uh, but once again, uh, we're not going to change much when it comes to our side on how we want to play the game. They are also going to play according to their strengths. We also going to play according to our strengths, and I think that is the beauty of the game. You know, you know that is something that we enjoy. You know, and uh, yeah, we know there's a big challenge coming, uh, but yeah, we will be looking forward to it. And yeah, it's going to be a nice game for sure. Thank you, coach. Right. So um, I, I have uh, two questions here from Ken. His micro, uh, phone is not working, but he sent two questions, one uh, to each of you. Uh, to, to Coach uh, Stoker, um, uh, may I ask, uh, uh, the box attacking play uh, has had some unwarranted criticism um, uh, recently, but do you feel with a couple of months together now, after, um, after, uh, after so much time together now, um, do you think that they, will we be able to see a bit more cohesion and fluency on attack in Australia? I, um, I'm, I'm still confused about the criticism. Uh, to me, I don't understand what is this that people keep on criticizing in our, how we're playing the game because of, if you look at our wins, Makazole Mapimbi, when it comes to his record with his tries, he's scoring a lot of tries. I'm not to show the number now, he's probably around 18. 16 tries out of 18 games, you know. Uh, Cheslin Kobe has been scoring brilliant tries. Lucanio Arm has been playing great rugby. Vili Leru at the back has been one of the best guys to see space around the field. You know, we are scoring more points than the teams that we're playing against. That's how we're winning games, you understand? So when people are talking about the style of play uh, and they've got a problem with how we're playing, uh, that unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it, you know. Uh, but we know what to change who we are. We're always going to stick to our DNA. We're always going to stick to what we do best, you know. So we're not really going to be influenced by the white noise out there, people that wants to see us playing a different style of game. We are currently on the right track winning games. We, it was a tough competition, you know, in the, the series against the British and Irish Lions. It was very physical. There was a lot of battles under the high balls. There was a lot of physical battle in the set pieces. You know, we've done everything in our past to make sure that we win those series, uh, those te those test matches. So I don't think we're going to change much on what we do. And once again, we're not going to listen to what people are telling us about how we must play the game. They must just focus on their, on their, on their wherever they are involved. They must try and play that touch rugby or that champagne rugby there. We're just going to focus on what we do best and keep on improving it. Thank you. We're moving uh, uh, along very really swiftly. There's a couple more minutes left. Uh, Percy, uh, I know you've been waiting patiently, but um, I will come back to you. Uh, we will take one or two more English questions and then move on uh, for somebody in Afrikaans before we conclude. Uh, so we say good evening for Robin Duke. Okay, thanks, Ryan. My question goes to, to, to Stoker. Um, 
you know, after the Springboks went down in, in the first series, I mean, in, in the first test against the, the, the Lions, and then we saw you guys, the way you come back to win, to win the series, is the same spirit still there? Because in the, in the, in the two games against Argentina, there were so many things that were made by, by, by the coach. Just wanted to find out that has that, has that spirit deteriorated to the mid in the two games against um, Argentina? I'm sorry, Ryan, I didn't get that question. The line was bad. Yes, uh, yes sir. Robin, Robin the, the line's very, very uh, patchy. Um, if you can just uh, speak slower, please, um, then we can can perhaps hear you much better. Uh, you can give it another go. Thank you. Okay, Stock, and no, the question I wanted to ask you is, um, in, the in the first test against, against the British and Irish Lion, you guys went down and then you fought back to win the series. So I just wanted to find out because the game against Argentina, there were so many changes that were made by coach. So I just wanted to find out that spirit and then that fight that fight that you guys had is it still there. You know, having played those two games against Argentina, where there's so many changes, is that awarded to you? Yeah, we knew it was going to be a tough series. You know, when you play against the British and Irish Lions, you play against the best, probably top four positions in in, in Europe. You know. Uh, we, we knew it, it was not going to be easy, you know, and we knew what we didn't do well in the first game against them. So that's why uh, we've managed to bounce back, you know, that's why we've managed to, cap, to, 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 to fix some of the mistakes that we've made in that game, you know. And since then, we've been getting better as a team, you know, and there's one thing that I have to compliment our squad, you know, we've got a lot of good players in our squad that are really, really working hard. We've got a lot of warriors in our squad and also now in the position where we are currently, you know. Uh, we've got a couple of our experienced players coming back from injuries. A guy like Dwayne who's been really doing well in training sessions now. Hopefully he will be ready for the first game against Australia. Uh, we've got a guy like Fafti Clark uh, who also who is coming back from the injury. I saw Janjis. So now we've got at least, I think, one guy who's probably at the moment still struggling with injury is uh, Reynard Elset. Otherwise, we are in a good space at the moment where we've got all our players, probably 41 players that we can possibly select the best 23 players. Uh, I think we are in a good space and there's a lot of room for improvement in our system on how we want to play the game and what we want to achieve. And But one thing I have to be honest is we are in a good space. We are, we are getting better as a team. And more especially after missing out last year, the whole year where we didn't play Test match rugby, I think our players now to be able to bounce back after losing the first game against the British and Irish Lions, to be able to win two more games after that, and then went to play against Argentina, who was a the, the very physical, good side also, you know. And you saw what happened last year. On a good day, they could build the Old Blacks, you know. So that's why every game that we're playing at the moment, we just make sure that we try and get better and make sure that we play on the best possible rugby that we can play on a day. And that's also what's going to be required against Australia. As I mentioned, they've got a lot of good players with the X Factor there. So we're going to have to be at our best also to win these games. Thank you, Coach Stoker. Right. Percival Young, you've been waiting patiently. Uh, you can fortgaan with your vraag. Thank you. Rana Adriansa, I'm indebted to you. Thank you so much, sir. Coach Stoker, sorry, let me just start off with you, sir. I'm coming here from the side of the rock here, sir. We've just received news that the Cape Town 7s has been cancelled, been called off, sir. Now, you one man who know this festival. Just your thoughts on that tournament being cancelled again. And then, um, um, Damon, a vraag for you, natuurlijk. A, a vraag net Afrikaans, wat al reeds gevraas aan jou. Um, jy praat van die veelsijdige rol wat jy nou omarm het, soort van, um, 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 waar wa, wa, wa jy mee gemakkelijk is, die is daar. Ek wil jy achter vraag, um, is daar een specifieke positie wat jy ingedei, wat jy goed in vaar? Ek, ek, ek vraag die vraag juist, omdat die afwachter het in die week gepraat van, hulle soek deesde jonger spelers waarmee hulle een paakje kan stap. Ek neem aan, um, 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 Mission 2023 is deel van hy plan wat ek het. Is daar een specifieke rol wat jy sal wil vertolk in, in die nationale spandak? Thank you so much. Ja, yeah, best, you know, uh, it's very, very sad news, you know. Uh, to not being able to to play the Cape Town Sevens, you know, it's a, it's a very very uh, nice festival for us as supporters, you know, to go to the stadium and enjoy the environment, you know, to see our boys, our police worker play, you know. So it's been two years in a row now where the tournament has been cancelled, but once again we're living in a challenging times, 
and I think the safety of the people of South Africa, you know, that is the main priority to make sure that we save lives. So if the call was made because of we want to save more lives in South Africa because of the safety through what we are facing now with the virus, I think we need to support that and make sure that we keep on <coughs> waiting and make sure that we keep on improving in our health system to make sure that we save a lot of lives. And then when the time is right, you know, the Cape Town servants will come back. Hopefully we'll be able to go and watch. You know, that is something that a lot of us as South Africans, it's one of our highlights of the year where we just go and enjoy ourselves. You know, it's a, it's a great festival uh, for, for me as a supporter now, you know. So, yeah, it's very sad, but otherwise it is what it is at the moment because of the challenges that we are facing through this pandemic, you know. So, yeah, we just need to make sure that we respect whatever call that is, is made to, to, to save lives.